Hello there, God bless you. You are welcome in the name of Jesus. Um, if this is the first time you're seeing me, a special welcome to you. Thank you so much for stopping by. I pray that God is going to use this channel to minister to you prophetically in the mighty name of Jesus. God bless all our first timers and all our returning subscribers. You have a special place in my heart. Thank you so much for always coming, but thank you so much for believing in me. God bless you abundantly. Hallelujah. God says it took them three days to change their mind. <clears throat> it took them three days to change their mind. It is very, um, it's very, how do I put it? Amazing how people are so bent on their ways. There are so many people who are bent on their ways when they make up their mind to do something. I mean, unless they do it, they will not rest. Unless they do it, they will not find fulfillment. So many people are bent on their ways. They will not listen to counsel. They will not listen to the voice of reasoning. They just want to do what they want to do. When, when they have made up their mind concerning something, no one and nothing can stop them. While that is a good threat, when it has to do with certain things in life, when it has to do with God, it is not a very good thing. Because the Bible says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your part. Do not lean on your own understanding. Do not think you are wise in your own eyes. Do not think you know you are certain about the things you do unless God has established that thought. That is why the Bible says we should commit our ways to the Lord and he will establish it. If God has not established it, then you might not be right. There are so many people, God has told you to do something and you don't want to do it. You are bent on your ways. You don't want to do it. Now, I, I, I have, in my work with God, I've realized this and I've shared it, shared it with, um, with us here on this platform. If um, you've been here for more than a year and all of that, I realized there are two types of people in the kingdom. There are people, God will let them have their way. Whatever they want to do, God is just going to let them have their way. And there are other people that God will force their hands to have them do what he wants them to do. He will force their hands to have them do what he wants them to do. I mean, when you're committed to a particular part, God will ensure you continue to the end. Look at Jonah. God sent him on a mission and he was adamant. He refused to do it. He was bent on his ways. I was talking with a doctor. Um, I, I, I heard a story about a doctor friend and the person was saying, this doctor <laughs> was saying, if he knew the outcome of a particular surgery he did was going to be okay. So this, so this doctor was about to do a surgery. He's not just any ordinary doctor he is a doctor who um, has the call of god upon his life god has placed life in his hands and he's even supposed to be a pastor but he is running away from the call and um he is just you know concentrating on his medical profession as a pastor so god told him to perform a particular surgery and God told him the surgery was going to be complicated, but he has to do that surgery. And this doctor goes ahead to do the surgery. He did not understand the magnitude of complication God was talking about. But it later showed that the surgery got complicated. And he was like, oh, no, God tricked me because initially he did not want to do the surgery. He said God tricked him into doing that surgery. Of course, he knew it was going to be complicated, but he did not know it was this complicated. And he said if he knew it was going to be that complicated, he would have run away from the surgery. After all, he is good at running away because he has been running away on the call of God over his life. God has told him. You are not just meant to be a medical doctor, but you are also supposed to be a pastor. So he has embraced his medical profession and he is running away from his pastoral. And right now he's at a point in his life where God is ensuring 
putting his back against the wall to ensure that he answers the call. So there are some people, God calls them, they refuse to answer the call and God let them go. And there are other people, God calls them, they refuse to answer the call and God forces their hands. He, he, he forces them to do it. Like I was telling us about the case of Jonah, God sends Jonah on an assignment. And Jonah said, I am not doing this. I am not doing what you want me to do. In some other cases, God will let go. But in Jonah's case, he said, you must do this assignment. You must do it. I've always known that with God, he has plan A, plan B to Z. He says, if you do not praise me, I will raise stones to praise me. It means he's telling you, if you do not do what I want you to do, I'm going to get other people to do it. Look at how Vashti was replaced by Esther. In God's plan, there is always a replacement. In the plan of God, there is always a replacement. But there are times, you just need to look at your life and know the kind of person you are. I call this kind of people the Jonah generation. There are some people that God will not take no for an answer. God had to pass Jonah through a very scary situation to get him to change his mind about his assignment. God had to cause a great fish to swallow him. It took him three days in the fish's belly to repent and decide to do God's will. Maybe you are watching me and you are going through a particular situation right now in your life, a difficult time, and it is sponsored by a decision you made not to yield to what God wants you to do. You are going through a difficult situation and somehow in the back of your mind you know that it is because of your, your stubbornness. When the when the sea be, uh, 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 when the sea be, it became rough and the people on shore were almost sinking, Jonah knew he was the problem. He knew it was because he disobeyed God and was going to Tashish instead to Nineveh. You know somehow that you are responsible for whatsoever you are going through. You know somehow that you have been stubborn to God. If you do not repent and ask God for forgiveness, you might be God might let that situation linger until you decide to do his bidding. God is not a dictator. I know you might be saying, is God, is God a dictator? Why would God force me to do that? They are just some special people. God, they are just some very special people God has picked special interest in. And if you're one of those people, it's a thing of joy. It's a great thing that God found you faithful to be able to carry certain tasks. It took Jonah three days in the fish's belly. How long will it take you to realize your mistake and to confess and to repent? How long will it take you to retrace your step and decide to do what God expects you to do? How long, how long? The length of your troubles is determined by how long it's going to take you to repent. And it's just my prayer for you that God will open your eyes to see what you're doing wrong that is sponsoring the hardship you are going through and that you'll be able to align yourself and yield to the will of God in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you. Shalom.